Good morning, everybody. I am Colonel Calvin Wimbish, the Senior Army Instructor, Haggerty High School. It is an honor on this day to salute our teachers and faculty members who are veterans in the armed forces of the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, and yes, even the Coast Guard. This morning, we want to give a special tribute to them as we approach Veterans Day, which will be celebrated this Saturday, November the 11th. Today, we would like you to join us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the rendering of the national anthem as our flags before our school are raised. Dr. Williams will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we want to thank Dr. Williams and all of our distinguished members of our faculty and staff for their honorable service to our country. It's not easy to step up to the plate and defend your country, defending people who you don't even know, willing to put your life at risk each and every day. We salute all of them that are here, those who are serving overseas and throughout the United States for the homeland defense. Thank you and have a great day at Haggerty High School. Go Huskies. The flag folding ceremony represents the same religious principles on which our great country was originally founded. The portion of the flag denoting honor is the canton of blue containing the stars representing states our veterans served in uniform. The canton field of blue dresses from left to right and it is inverted only when draped as a pall on the casket of a veteran who has served our country honorably in uniform. In the U.S. Armed Forces at the ceremony of retreat, the flag is lowered, folded in a triangle fold and kept under watch throughout the night as a tribute to our nation's honored dead. The next morning it is brought out and at the ceremony of Reveille run aloft as a symbol of our belief in the resurrection of the body. Symbols for the folds of the flag. The first fold of our flag is a symbol of life. The second fold is a symbol of our belief in eternal life. The third fold is made in honor and remembrance of the veteran departing our ranks and who gave a portion of his or her life for the defense of our country to attain peace throughout the world. 
The fourth fold represents our weaker nature as American citizens trusting in God. It is to him we turn in times of peace as well as in times of war for his divine guidance. The fifth fold is a tribute to our country for in the words of Stephen Decour, our country in dealing with other countries may she always be right but it is still our country, right or wrong. The sixth fold is where our hearts lie. It is with our heart that we pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The seventh fold is a tribute to our armed forces, for it is through the armed forces that we protect our country and our flag against all enemies, whether they be found within or without the boundaries of our republic. The eighth fold is a tribute to the one who entered into the valley of the shadow of the death, that we might see the light of day and to honor our mother for whom it flies on Mother's Day. The ninth fold is a tribute to womanhood for it has been through their faith, love, loyalty, and devotion that the character of men and women who have made this country great have been molded. The tenth fold is a tribute to father for he too has given his sons and daughters for the defense of our country since he or she was first born. The eleventh fold, in the eyes of the Hebrew citizens, represents the lower portion of the seal of King of David and King Solomon and glorifies, in their eyes, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The twelfth fold, in the eyes of the Christian citizen, represents an emblem of eternity and glorifies, in their eyes, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. When the flag is completely folded, the stars are uppermost, reminding us of our national motto, In God We Trust. After the flag is completely folded and tucked in, it has the appearance of a cocked hat, ever reminding us of the soldiers who served under General George Washington and the sailors and Marines who served under Captain John Paul Jones and were followed by their comrades and shipmates in the U.S. Armed Forces, preserving for us the rights, privileges, and freedoms we enjoy today.